Well, hey, folks, and welcome to Bridging the Gap, the show that's designed to highlight the challenges that teenagers face, help tackle those challenges with a step-by-step guidance, and ultimately help you live the best life that you can. Hi, folks, I'm John Morris. I'm an author, an artist, a speaker, coach for the creative mind, and I specialize in working with teenagers and families. And I make one half of the team. I've got a wonderful co-host that I'm delighted to introduce you to. She is an amazing Scottish musician, singer, and songwriter, and she's the always lovely Sean Clark. Sean, how are you doing today? Welcome. Yeah, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm enjoying the sunshine and uh, it's Easter when we're filming this. So it's it's a lovely time. So, so guys, we just want to start out by welcoming you guys to a show that ultimately is unlike anything else. It's actually a show that's really designed for teens by teens because we take some of the areas that maybe you are struggling with and some of the things that you know, you'd like answers to and clarity on. And we actually build a show around that. And each week we aim between Sean and I to take three topics and in 30 minutes to cover them. So in with that in mind, guys, let's begin with the first one. We're going to be talking about self-image. Sean, would you say that many teenagers struggle with self-image? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think self-image is, we are a lot of um, body confidence, like body loss of confidence mm-hmm. comes from nowadays because people are always putting down for how you look and um, it's very common um, in what you see a teenagers um, nowadays. So um, I think it's a big issue um, and it needs to get addressed more. What do you think um, regarding self-image people struggle with the most aside from body confidence? Is there other issues or other areas that teenagers struggle with? With self-image, um, people really struggle with um, going out and sh- wondering what what they should wear if yeah. they're going to get judged, or um, if they're going to get catcalled or anything like that because of just what they're wearing or how they look or even if how the body looks, um, because there's that expectation that people need to meet. Um, but yeah. Okay, folks. Now, Sean hit on some really, really good topics there, you know, in terms of how people look, in terms of how they, you know, are judged by other people. And I want to give you a few things, a few little tips right now that you can start implementing in your life. And once you do this, and Sean, you can be my judge on this as well, because we're going to do a little bit of an experiment as well. But three things that I want you guys to really think about first and foremost is stop comparing yourself to others. That's the biggest thing. They're not walking your path. They're not walking your journey and they haven't experienced what you have. The second thing is stop focusing so much on social media. You know, so much that's on there talks about the guys with the biggest muscles or the girls with the thinnest waist or, you know, the prettiest person with no acne or anything like that. And a lot of it is a falsehood because it's been doctored by, you know, Photoshop and all these different apps and filters that are out there. So stop focusing on the falsehood that is on social media. And I want you guys to really learn one thing in particular. You need to stop focusing on the negative and focusing on the positive. We be, the way that this works is we become what we think about. And the brain, okay, is this amazing thing. And being the great host that the brain is, it says to you, or actually says, you know, about you, oh, well, you must like how you're feeling. So I'm going to give you more of that. So I'm going to give you an example. Now, we attract in our lives, oftentimes, what we think about. So when we think about the stuff we don't want in our lives, and we constantly think about that, I don't want this, I don't want this, I don't want this, we often attract that into our lives. So I want you to start thinking about the things that you want to attract into your life. And I want to do an experiment with you. And Sean, you, you can be my guinea pig if this is okay. I want to, to, to do an experiment for two minutes, okay? And I want to prove this to you guys. So I want you to sit there. I just want you to listen. You can close your eyes if you want. And I want you to think about what I'm saying. So a lot of people, when they look in the mirror, for example, they start thinking about all the negatives about themselves. So if you imagine, I'm going to say to you now what you're saying to yourself, okay? So it'd be things like, you're fat, you're ugly, you're disgusting. Why would anyone like you? Why would anyone want anything to do with you? You, You're worthless, you'll never amount to anything. Sean, how did that make you feel just hearing that for 10 seconds? That didn't feel very good. (laughs) Okay, right. Now, if I say to you, just again, 10 seconds, 
you know, you're beautiful, you're strong. And I'm saying this to everybody, not just Sean, otherwise that would be a little bit weird. Um, you're beautiful, you're strong, you're powerful, you're passionate, you've got an amazing ability about you. You're gonna do so well in your life. You're doing so well, look how far you've already come. Sean, how does that make you feel just hearing that? It makes me feel better. Like, I think that would like impact on everybody else. Like if one bad comment was made that can affect you like, massively but also one good comment can also change that well they actually say that it's it's one one bad comment you need almost like 10 times the amount of good comments but again you could tell the difference between how i was speaking and how i was developing that as well and the crazy thing is this is what people tell themselves each and every single day they get up and say well i'm fat i'm ugly i'm this i'm that and that's what they attract more into their life and then they start thinking well if, if this is the way that i am why should i even bother changing but if you could be told right now now, amazing things about yourself. Like I'm going to give you something that is just, when I learned it, it was so mind blowing. You being here right now is a miracle. Now I'm not talking about religion. I'm not talking about anything like that, but you physically here right now is a miracle. Now, how do I know that? Because statistically it's a one in 400 trillion chance that you would even be alive here today. Okay. Now it's even more amazing. The fact that you're sitting here watching Sean and I talk about this and when you start thinking about these things, the next time you start thinking, oh, well, you know, I'm no good. I was a mistake. I was this, I was that. Remind yourself that you being here is a real miracle. Statistically, it was Albert Einstein that studied this and came up with this conclusion. It's a four, it's a one in 400 trillion chance of you being here. And that's pretty incredible when you really, really think about it. So I want you to focus on what you want to attract into your life. And that's going to develop so much more positivity in you because if you can see look how far I've come as opposed to look how far I've got to go especially if you're if you're Sean's age at, at, at 17 and my age at 33 we've still got a long way to go in our journey and we've still got a lot of things that we're doing but if we can see you know look how far we've come look at what we're doing then you build momentum and you start feeling really really good about yourself Sean do you think that helps yeah definitely good. I believe you're onto topic two which is all about anxiety Shashan take it away <laughs> Um, whether if you look at it like a little perspective or a big perspective, it's a just it's a human feel feeling, um, fear or panic. Um, it normally comes around when we fear, and um, we come to f face our fears, um, or stressful situations. Um, it can set off an alarm in our head. Um, it's, it's kind of like a brain, a built an alarm in your brain um, that points out, oh, that, I don't like that situation and you get that panic of feeling. Um, it's, the anxiety takes over and it will, over your, all, the, all your other feelings and you can either, you've got your three Fs, I'm, I'm, I think I'm pretty sure you've, Go so you've got it. your three Fs, you've got your freeze, your fight and your fight or flight here we go it's a bit of a tongue twister there um uh it, it can be, it can come over any time so it can either be in a situation where you're in your exams and you're just like ah and you just don't know what you're doing um but it's not just people like us like just normal people living their day-to-day -day life it can be people like celebrities like Kim Kardashian or um, any movie stars, um, it, it, it's, it's really a, a normal thing to have. So don't think that you are weird or different, even though it does make you different, it doesn't make you, make you any different to anybody else. Um, but yeah, there, there are lots of techniques um, to overcome anxiety. Um, you can do there's many like breathing exercises. There's lots of there's lots of different stuff um th th different things um for you to um overcome your anxiety. It doesn't it doesn't matter what how like how anxiety affects you. There's lots of different things that you can look at. Good. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and and some of these things, guys, like Sean had mentioned there. 
you know, anxiety is one of the things, it affects so many people around the world. And I want to share with you guys a little technique. I'm, I'm kind of like the technique guy. Sean is the one of, of the similar age, but I'm the technique guy that will help you guys hopefully find solutions to these things. I developed, I was really ill last year and I developed a um, quite a serious thing because I wasn't dealing with stress. I wasn't dealing with my anxiety properly. I was doing a lot of interviews and I wasn't taking time for me. And um, during my convalescent time, I basically developed a thing called the traffic light system. And this is where you do a self-check each day, sometimes a couple of times a day, where you can actually, you know, look at yourself and see, how am I feeling? And I call it the traffic light system. So green means you're good to go. You're feeling passionate. You're feeling powerful. You're excited. You know, everything is good. Everything's flowing. Amber, the amber stage is, well, I'm feeling a little bit tired, a little bit frustrated, a little bit wound up, a little bit stressed. It's the little bits. When you get to the red stage, it's that I'm feeling very wound up. I'm feeling very annoyed. I'm feeling very like I want to tear somebody's head off kind of level. Yeah. When yeah. you get to to the meltdown stage. Now we couldn't assign a color to this. So someone basically assigned a color for us and it was brown. And they came back with the phrase, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Literally brown is ultimate meltdown. It is, I am feeling absolutely positively, you know, just frustrated. I want to get in the car and, you know, run over everybody who sees me. And it's the irrational side of things. Okay. When yeah. you get to this stage, it is game over. There is nothing that you can say or do. And you got to allow that anxiety attack to just basically come and go the traffic light system if you can implement it and we'll put up the graphic as well so as you guys can see it um means that you guys and everybody that sees this the traffic light system is where you can do a check and you can see okay I, i'm into i'm in implementing this before i have this major meltdown because once you're at a major meltdown, you're in trouble, okay? It's got to take place. It's got to happen. It's like an illness. But when you are right at the beginning and you can say, okay, I can, you know, I'm sort of feeling in the green amber stage. And when you're feeling like that, then that's when you can start to be aware. And if you start to get into that red stage, then you can say, okay, what do I need to do to calm myself down? What do I need to do to actually relax and, and to do all these things? And, you know, hopefully that's going to help you guys take less anxiety. But you need to remember three things. First of all, anxiety, like Sean was saying, it's the fear of, you know, what could be or what has been. Try and remain in the present. And when you can do that, you'll find that a lot of anxieties really do disappear. The second thing is to remember that I've all the things, there was research that was done in the 60s, the 70s, 80s, 90s, and in the 2000s. And it's all been the same. For all of the things that you worry about, usually only between eight, sorry, only between four and eight percent of them ever, ever actually develop into anything, rational things. So a lot of things that we worry about never actually manifest into anything. So I hope that helps. Sean, have you anything else to add about anxiety? If you feel like your anxiety um, gets worse and worse mm -hmm. every day, um, don't be afraid to ask or yep. tell anyone about it because more or less they've probably got it too yep. it's very very common um, so even if it's just a family member or a friend or a teacher or just anyone just don't be afraid to like say oh yeah this is how I'm feeling like um, but yes like because they probably like either talk to someone or they have experienced that and they'll give you the right advice. Absolutely. And also you can reach out to us folks as well at thebattlesweallface.com. The link is in the section below and we do offer coaching sessions for those that are struggling with anxiety because it is a big thing. And both Sean and myself and all of the team at one point or another have battled with anxiety. But talking of anxiety, actually, this leads us kind of to, to point three. One of the biggest things that people feel anxious about is the future. Sean, do you feel anxious ever about your future? Well, I think everyone is like I, I, I've I've been definitely like like even though I've got an idea of like what I want to do, it's still like nerve wracking of like oh, um, what if like this doesn't turn out like how I wanted to go, and it's like all these thoughts come in your head, and it's like ah, <laughs> um, but yeah, um, definitely like I just decided what I wanted to do like a couple years ago, mm -hmm. um. But uh, everyone has the, the upcoming run of like, oh yeah, I want to be this when I'm older. I want to be this when I'm older. All that. But but I feel like when you come to my age, you're like, yeah, 
this is what I want to do this is because then that's when you start picking your universities mm -hmm. and what courses you want to do and what exact and what um subjects you need to take to get the grades you want and stuff like that so um I feel like when it comes to my age it's like okay yes I think we're okay and you're like take a breather and it's like but it, it, some for some people it's not like that well, that's for some people it's like yeah I was going to say because you you're in a fortunate position. You you decided what you wanted to do. Uh, many people, like you say, are just not in that position, and they reach you know 17, 18 years old. They're getting ready to go off to to college or university, and they're like, I haven't got a clue. And it's one of the biggest anxiety triggers and stress triggers around. So I want to help you guys. In fact, Sean and I are going to do this between us. Um, because Sean, I'm, I'm just going again. You Sean as the guinea pig. I use what's around me. Sean, what do you want to do with your life? Well, I am aiming to be able to write my own music and um, perform and just sing, song, write, record, get my music out there and just, because I have a passion for music, I love singing. Um, I'm just all one performing. Um, that's my passion and that, that's what I want to do with my career. And that's a fantastic thing. So this is the this is the big thing for you guys to know is what Shan said there is what we call a goal. OK, she has a goal in mind. She wants to be a singer songwriter. She wants to perform for people. She's clear on the goal. That's the first thing you've got to do. Many people start by thinking about the steps mm -hmm. that they're going to take and they haven't got a clue as to the goal, but they're trying to take steps. That would be like me walking out the front door, having no idea where I'm going and trying to get there, okay? Whereas I've got to figure out the goal first. So once you figure out the goal, it actually becomes relatively simple. So I, again, I will give you guys a couple of examples here of what Shan could do. So her goal, remember, is to be a singer, songwriter, performing in front of people. So step one is a very, very simple thing. And you want to take action once you've got your goal set. Okay, so it could be invest in a microphone. Okay, nice and simple. It doesn't have to be anything massively expensive, but just something to get her used to, you know, singing in front of a microphone and developing that. Step two, with the world of social media that's there, could be, I don't know, let's say doing a live stream and, and posting social media videos of her singing, which she already does. She's got an Instagram account. That'll be in the, the comment section below. You guys can check it out. Um, and that's step two. So she's posting videos. Now she's engaging an audience. Then she could open up a Facebook fan page. So this means that people are now able to engage with her, so enabled to talk to her, enabled to really interact with her as a person and get to understand her as a brand, which is a whole other topic for another time. It's business speak. Um, yeah. But it's basically people can really interact with Sean. Step four then is to build an audience and maybe even create a GoFundMe page. And step five, you know, create regular content for her followers. So you've got five steps there, things that you can be doing once you've got that goal in mind that's going to take you from where you are to where you want to be. And then you just keep working the steps over and over and over again. And this works literally with everything. Once you've got your goal in mind and you say, I want to be a history teacher, a dancer, a musician, a bodybuilder, a, uh, you know, a life coach, whatever it might, an author, then yeah. you just need to figure out where you want to go and, and really what you want to do. Sean, does that help? Yeah. Uh, I think um, with taking that step by step, um really helps me anyway so like um what I do to um try and like build up is I did start with like you know getting the equipment I needed um and I go out busking um normally it's every Saturday um uh, maybe not every Saturday but like some Saturdays and I'll go to Irvin and I will um sing some original songs some cover songs and just and it's it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun i'll get get you some money sometimes and it's getting yourself out there as well so it gets yourself recognized so that's what but i would do if any is there any musicians watching or any people that want to be um like a singer or um but play an instrument um do that because it's it's it builds your confidence mm -hmm. as well I used to be really a really shy person I didn't really talk much but as soon as I found my passion for music and busking it brought my confidence out a lot more so do that even if it's just starting with an Instagram account and just posting some videos of you doing cover songs or original songs and just start there
And that's an incredible thing because there's two things that went through my mind there. Social media is fantastic for Sean to reach out basically to a worldwide audience. Social media, as you guys know, obviously is literally all over the world on all its various platforms. But yeah. some people may say, oh, well, that's busking. That, that's only a, a small thing. But there's a very, very important lesson that Sean has actually just touched upon, possibly without knowing it. But when you're out there busking, it's very, very different performing in the comfort of your home. When you're busking out there in front of an audience and people walking by, that gets you exposed to performing in front of an audience. And that's yeah. a whole different quality. And that's something that I really admire about Sean, that she's going out, she's doing it, she's going for it. And she can still do stuff on social media and reach people around the world. But in order to be a really good performer in front of a worldwide audience, you've got to have that experience of performing in front of a crowd. And that's something that really does take a lot of confidence, a lot of guts and to really build it up, which is fantastic. So Shannon, is there anything that you want to say to, to wrap up today's show? Um, just don't be afraid to do what you want to do. I was always afraid to not do things because of what people would think. Yeah. Um, it's still like that now, but it's a lot better than I used to be. So if you've got a goal, just go for it because there's no one else stopping you. And that's it. And literally the only thing that stops us really is us. You know, other people will always tell you, you can't do this, you can't do that. Don't listen to them. Why does it have to be your reality of what somebody else has said? You know, you can literally be whatever you yeah. want to be. You set that goal in your mind and you follow through, take daily steps to do it. And you'd be amazed at what you can achieve. And I can say that because I have done that numerous times in my professional life and in my personal life. And that's why I can say that now. So folks, that's all we've got time for today. I really want to thank you guys for watching. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can support the show and the network on Patreon. Uh, gosh, what else have we got to say? Uh, yeah, and come and visit us. If you are struggling with anything, we are building a brand new site at the moment that's designed for teenagers and parents, hopefully to understand each other a little bit better and to really tackle some of the issues that you guys and girls are facing, whether it be anxiety or self-image or, or confidence issues or trying to build up you know, a, a career for yourself and to get clear about these things. We're here to help. If you've got topics as well that you want Sean and I to cover in this, uh, I guess, uh, Bridging the Gap show, then get in touch with us. Drop us a, a comment in the section below and we would love to hear from you. And if you like the show, let us know. Until next time, I have been your host, John Morris. She has been the amazing Sean Clark and we will see you next time. Take care. Hi. Do you, your son or daughter, struggle with direction, clarity and purpose? Maybe you struggle with anxiety. Maybe you struggle with self-esteem or confidence issues. Maybe you've got great ideas, but you've no idea how to get from where you are to where you want to be. Don't worry, you're not alone. People around the world struggle with these issues. Hi there, I'm John Morris. I'm the coach to the creative mind and I'm also a psychologist in training. For the last two decades, I've worked with people from all walks of life and all over the world, all with a wide variety of issues. I've worked with people from youth groups to adult education to people dealing with day-to-day -day living issues. And each one of them has an amazing story to tell and we've helped them get clear as to where they are and clear as to where they want to be. And I want to help you too. Unlike a lot of life coaches and therapists that like to drag things on and leave you dangling on the carrot, I want to make sure that each and every single time that we meet and have a life coaching session together, that you never ever leave saying, man, that was a waste of time, or I didn't get the value that I desired. I am committed to making sure that each and every single time we meet, you are one step closer by the time we finish to a goal that you have in mind. So why should you work with me? Well, let me tell you, as I said, I'm committed to making sure that I provide value, that I provide something that's step by step and easy to follow. I'm also a fantastic listener. I've been blessed with the gift of listening and I love to listen to people, their stories, their, their dreams, their desires, because there's nothing more energetic and passionate to me than when a client gets their first desire or they get that goal or they hit that big target or whatever it might be. And also, as the trifecta, I'm committed to you, to helping you take action. So whether or not it be deciding on the university you want to go to, deciding on the course that you want to be at, helping you get excited and passionate about your work environment, whatever it might be, 
I am committed to helping that happen. I'm also committed, if you need to shed some pounds, if you need to gain some muscle mass, if you need to, I don't know, develop your self-esteem, I'm committed to helping you take action and following a step-by-step -step plan of action that we can put together. But now, folks, I want to tell you about the Early Bird Special Offer that we are launching right now. It is for 10 people and 10 people alone. That's right, if you are interested in having life coaching sessions with me one-on-one, -on -one, 10 people have the opportunity to do that and we're looking to help these people change their lives completely. We take ages 14 and upwards, so if you're interested in learning how to get from where you are to where you want to be, to really develop that passion, to live a life that you enjoy as opposed to a life that you wake up and think, ah, you know, how to develop and change your mindset from maybe a negative one to a positive one, understanding what fuels your mindset and understanding what creates the kind of life that you want to live, then get in touch with me today I would love to hear from you as I say this is open only for 10 people and once it's done it's done so click that box below get in touch let's have a conversation backwards and forwards and see if we're a fit for each other and I look forward to working with you have an amazing day folks take care God bless and I will see you soon